Latest engineering news via video media. I'm in the MTD studio today and I've come here to find out and learn more about precision work holding for milling machines. Now if you've got an interest in clamping, vices and how to get the best out of your machine tool then you should stay tuned and watch this feature. I've got Matt Jeunesse with me, he's the sales director of Micron Work Holding Limited. They supply this range of products into the UK market, in fact abroad as well. Uh, he's going to talk us through what you've got and what you actually do. So welcome, Matt. Hello, Paul. How are you doing, all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. You've got a very broad range of products here, yes. uh, from, from small vices right the way up to the hydraulic systems. Let's start from left to right with a Hemo vice. Okay, this is the, the Hemo five axis vice. It's manufactured in Switzerland to a very high accuracy. Um, we do three different sizes, uh, three different lengths, I should say. 75 mil wide, and we do the 100, 150, and 200. And th this is just for a five axis machine? Mainly. I mean, you can obviously put them on three axis machines and bank them close to, to hold lots of multiple parts, but generally speaking, they're for five axis. Okay, so for five axis work holding, how much material can you hold on using a billet? So we're talking. Well, these, they're quite they're high pressure vices, so there's uh, nearly three tonnes. So you can clamp on very small amounts. Um, and they've got a pull-down motion to give you security? Uh, it's a self-centering vice, so it's just clamping uh, laterally. Right. But uh, we do the, with these teeth, you can actually uh, bite the workpiece. Uh, you don't have to pre-op the part like, like some other vices. Um, it'll, it'll bite straight in because it's a high-pressure vice. Now, I'm thinking of a five-axis machine. I'm thinking of a, a trunnion table. How, how, how am I going to attach that to it? Well, that's what this one's really sold mostly to go on sort of very small rotary sort of table, five axis trunnion tables. Small um, Matsura or something like that. Or, or a Nikon table or something right. like that. But we have, um, we'll actually machine it to suit your pallet. So we'll put a tenon in, in the bottom of there so it locates into the centre of the rotary table and then we'll clamp it down with, with side clamps. Right. And then this, uh, what have you got on the bottom there? I suppose you've got some... Yeah, well you can either adapt it. We do a quick change um, sort of system as well so you can adapt it for taking on and off machines quickly. It's a manual change option. Popular seller for you? We've been selling this for about three or four years now and it's, it's, it's been very good for us, yes. Okay, on to the next one. So what have we got here? Right, this is pretty new for us. We've been selling this now for about a year. Um, it's called the Raptor I'll just move this one dovetail. Out so we can see. It's the yeah. Raptor dovetail vice. Uh, it's quite unique in a way because it's, it actually uses the material to clamp itself rather than actual the uh, clamping a billet. You do have to pre-op pre -op your workpiece. Um, to that always strikes me as a secondary operation though. I always sort of think to myself, is it, is it a negative to gain a positive almost? Sometimes, but if, if your part, for example, if you've got 10 parts or something to make and that cycle time is two or three hours because it's very complex and, uh, and you need to access all five sides, then there's nothing better than this. Yes, you have to pre-op the part on maybe a three-axis machine first, but so um, you'd have maybe ten billets and you'd do all the pre-op, pre take them off, but uh, with a dovetail cutter and, and the little location. What's the benefit again of, of actually doing it in that way, of it's, clamping it's, in that way? It's just access to the part, as you can see. But you're using the material of the component of the part exactly, to clamp the part. rather than rather than a vice. So as you can see, if you just you've got the uh, the location point there. And then you just it, is it, clamp is it, it. Is it pretty good clamping forces? Well, it? it is because you don't you're not actually clamping the part hard. It, again, it's the material itself, so so it doesn't and come out. It can't come out. And you've got four positions on here on this one, yeah. But it strikes me that, that they're quite small billets. So does it does, yeah. does this we do a whole well? range of, of sizes? Um, this one is to suit sort of a, a little Hass rotary table. And how's it going to fit onto the well, this one actually fits on to a bigger dovetail vise. Right, um, got it. But also, so you can also use it as a sort of quick yeah. release sort of clamping. Okay, these are small parts. This yep. this then becomes, this takes us into a different arena. Yes. Pretty chunky bit of kit, this one. It is, and this is a product that's brand new to us. Um, I went to visit the company Forza um, about three months ago, and they showed me what they do. Forza's got a very good name in the world of clamping. They sell lots of these throughout the world. They just don't sell them in the UK at the moment and, and we're going to change that. You hope. 
I hope. The idea is it's it will compete with the, the top German brands. It's as accurate, it's as strong, but it's cheaper. But this type of vice, you, you, having known your business for a while and the products that you sell, which we'll come on to in a minute with the, the micro lot, yeah. you're going against what you've been preaching in the sense that you've been talking about lots of small components in a yes. tight working area with a modular system. Back to something more traditional. It is more traditional, yeah, but there'll always be a, a place for this in the market. You, you, someone who's doing one or two ofs doesn't need the... the the uh, multiple work holding, and they just want to be able to put a billet in a vise and clamp it up. Okay, and when they've got that with this, this has got what plenty of clamping force. It's, it's a very strong it pull down. It, it's a it's a pull down jaw. It's very quick to change. I mean, you can move the vise in and out like so. You've got the spindle block here, which is very large, so it makes the whole thing very robust. And Forza actually offer a a manufacturer's defect warranty unlimited. And that's what I liked when I visited. What's unlimited? Forever. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's, that's a very good place to start, actually, when you're selling, I think. So move on to uh, this, then, is the VB Dot Clock. The VB Dot Clock, This yep. is the zero-point clamping system, isn't it? Yes, and this is a product... What uh, does that mean, in your eyes? Well, this is a product we took on about six years ago. Um, it was the first sort of non-our-own-manufactured product. And um, it's a zero-point system. So it will go on three axes, four axes, five axes, any, any machine. And the whole point of this is if you're doing um, parts that have long setup times, is you set up offline. So you have different pallets like this. So you, you'd maybe have two pallets the same, but you would just literally take them on and do all your setting up offline. So obviously the machine is always running, which is obviously very cost effective. And, and when you're putting this on, you know it's going to go back to the same place. That repeats to within three micro. And that is exactly what zero point referencing is. That's what is, it means. Essentially. Yeah. And you've got here as an example, if I take this off again, you've got two stations. Yeah, this is a two pot system. We do two pot, four pot, six pot, or eight pot systems. And then we also do completely tailor made systems to suit. And is that driven pneumatically or hydraulic? It's a hydraulic version. And the reason we use hydraulics is we can get a lot more pressure. Um, on, onto the collet. So this is a collet locking system as opposed to a ball bearing type. Good seller for you this one as well, isn't it? Very uh, good seller, yeah. Hydraulic to hydraulic, but yep. before we before we actually look at this, we come on to the micro lock, which is what the company was essentially founded on. It's yes. your most popular seller. It is, it? yeah, yeah, still, and we and we export all over the world, and um, exports recently have been very good actually. What is that? Well, obviously the pound, uh, the pound weakening. Yeah, and with this as a, as a system, it's a base plate that goes onto the machine, isn't yeah. it? And then you've got your vices and your your location points on the base plate. Again, it's repeatability, speed of clamping. It does modular. everything the manual version did, um, but we've just sort of hydraulic it up, and, and basically it's for larger batch production still utilising the, the great benefits of Microlock. So for people that haven't actually seen Microlock at all, even when it comes to from a manual perspective, yep. this can be fitted to, this base plate can be fitted to any machine bed using the tenons, can't it? Yeah, or we do cubes for horizontal so, machines. But generally speaking the, the hydraulic system would go on a vertical. Okay. But then once they've got the base plate, they'll have the vices, the location points, they can hold two, four, six, eight, yep. even one part, yep. can't they? Let's see this in action because this is the hydraulics. So if we turn them on. All right now, obviously you can hear the, the pump going. It's an electric pump, so it does take a little bit longer for the vices to, to clamp. Uh, normally we'd use an air, air hydraulic pump uh, running at 350 bar. So it still gives the same pressure as the manual version. So on this system, it's 1.25 tonnes. On the bigger vice, it's two tonnes. Now, what I like about this setup here is you, you, you're kind of demonstrating a few different styles of componentry. So you've got your round yep. part and your soft jaws, you've got almost like a manifold component or something. You, what we're trying to show here, it doesn't matter what the shape is. No, we, we can clamp it and we can clamp it hydraulically. The good thing about this system is that it's a clean hydraulic system. It works, it's very simple. Some hydraulic systems aren't, this is simple. It comes in a box. Um, the manifold bolts to the, uh, the base plate, you can have four, eight, twelve port manifolds and literally by the push of a button you can clamp and then clamp your part. And, and if you were an existing Microlock user but yeah. you didn't have the hydraulic version so you had the base plate and maybe some vices, 
Do you do a startup kit? Yeah, where you we, can we go do an upgrade kit. So we do however many vices you have if you want to upgrade. We'll supply you just with the hydraulic vice. The rest, the side clamps, the parallel, everything else is compatible. Um, we just supply the hydraulic vice and hydraulic equipment. So in your eyes, the benefit of this solution is to what, multiple component Multiple components and uh, sort of medium to large batch production. Now we've got a really good spread here. This, yeah. this represents from a milling perspective pretty much your portfolio. Pretty much everything you need, yeah. Micron work holding as a supplier of all this kit. Are, are you a leader in the UK when it comes to? I would say we're one of the well-known established companies. We've been going 25 years um, selling Microlock and obviously we've over the years we've introduced products that will sit alongside Microlock. And you mentioned the export thing, that's interesting because obviously the UK market is, is where the Microlock is actually manufactured, which is yes. also another point to make. Yeah. But, but import uh, or exports at the moment, they are strong for you on this? They are, I mean exports had already gone up, but uh, yeah, obviously with the pound being, being weaker, it has benefited us exporting to Europe. And it also benefits us in the UK because we manufacture it here our competitors are importing from Germany, so their prices are, are going up. And when you have this range of products and you go into a business, an engineering company, there isn't much you can't do, is there? There isn't, no. Good. Thanks for coming today, Matt. It's been Thanks, a, Paul. Been Thanks a for your time. Thanks you. for inviting me in. No problem.